you can't prepare enough for the CPAT, in my opinion. Um, physical training should start as soon as you have the intention to take the CPAT. <clears throat> People don't realize how hard the test is. They come in here and the, the level of training it requires or the, the level of fitness, you can be extremely fit, but the conditioning in here that's required to take it. After that first event, it is all a mental test and you have to be prepared for it as the best way possible. The next thing is to watch the videos, especially, especially for this course. Uh, the staff has done a fantastic job at getting information out there about the CPAT and showing you the tips and tricks and things to help you succeed at the CPAT. And I encourage everybody to take the time to watch those videos and study up on the CPAT the best as possible. The more prepared, the better chances you're gonna have of passing. It's a very good question. Hard as it, the whole CPAT can be difficult, but <clears throat> the far, farther you get in the test, the harder the tasks get. And it's not as far as they're strategically hard or they require a certain type of finesse, it's just your body wears down and down and down. So the hardest part, in my opinion, of the CPAT is just keeping your that mental head and keeping that pace up. After every event, you want to you want to, you want to just slow down. You want to take a second to catch your breath. You want to stop and and you can't. <clears throat> you have to keep pushing through. And so in my opinion, the farther you get into it, it gets harder and harder. But the dummy drag is a hard one. The stair mill, of course, is very difficult. I can't pick out one event. Just keeping that kit, keeping your breath and keeping that pace up through the whole test is the mental preparedness of it is probably the hardest part. I have had a wonderful experience testing at the Gibbs Center. I've tested here three times and each time I have, I have lowered my time due to the tips and tricks I've learned. The staff is continually educating themselves to give kind of candidates and participants a lot better chance to pass the CPAT. <clears throat> The, it's a very nice facility. The equipment is very nice. It's climate controlled compared to other facilities that aren't. I have had a wonderful experience. I think the Gibson campus should, is the only place I'm ever going to go to for a CPAT.